Hello, this is Boyan from Boyan.tv. I'm back again on the T-Mobile G1 platform talking about Android and all the things that I've experienced with it in about a week's time of using it. Next thing I want to talk about is the Android Marketplace. This is where you can purchase applications and download free applications, very similar to the iTunes App Store. So, let's talk about Marketplace. Uh, let's go ahead in here. I already have a shortcut on the desktop right here. I keep calling it desktop. I don't know what else to call it. Should I call it the home screen? Sure, let's call it the home screen. And it's called Market. It's got a little shopping bag with the Android Android guy on it. You can see that. Let's tap on them. And uh, let's see. So, let's start with the first screen you see. There's a bunch of featured applications at the top. Now, this is something that uh, the iTunes App Store has as well. There's a bunch of featured applications that are there weekly. And you can scroll left to right through these applications and they're denoted by their icons and as each icon is highlighted the title of the application is shown so you can go left and right through these applications and this it's a pretty good selection of applications I, I gotta say I'm gonna go off on a tangent here but uh, ooh, there's iTweet I guess I haven't tried that yet but uh, <laughs> um, there's where as well there, there's a good selection of applications a lot of people knock the Google Android marketplace because compared to the iTunes App Store it has less applications but when you consider the, the competitors such as Blackberry and Nokia it's doing pretty well I mean it's got an open market open source platform and uh, just about anybody can develop if they have any time and <laughs> you know how to code so uh, I think it's a rich marketplace now it is it is the uh, yeah. I thought I can scroll up and down, but I can't. <laughs> uh, it is uh, organized by applications, games, and you can search or you can go to your downloads. And I can show you the ones I've downloaded so far. Uh, I can't pay for applications with this unit I have, but uh, you can see that these are all the ones that I have installed, and from here I can uninstall them. So that's a quick way to uninstall applications. So if I go to applications, it's categorized by sub groups so I have all applications communications entertainment finance lifestyle multimedia news and weather productivity <laughs> reference shopping social tools travel demo software library so these categories all have applications in them so let's go to entertainment you can see what's in here from there and when you go down to a level you see here it's organized by popularity or by date so you can you can group these applications in, in two different ways and I just got a new tweet. So here's backgrounds. Here's an application that I used on the uh, on the iPhone. I think it's the same one. The icon looks the same. Where you can change your desktop backgrounds. And I'm gonna show you how to install an application. So since this one is free and it's got a four star review, you can see the review. You can see the price on the right side as well. So let's go ahead and drill down to it. And it tells you a little summary at the top here. It has greater than 250,000 downloads, and it also has 23,424 ratings. So you get an idea of how many people have used and rated this. And it has a brief description and it has some of the comments. These are some of the ratings that people have said about it. It said a lot of nice different picks. Uh, let's see, love it. I don't like it. It has no fun. Blah, 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 blah. And then you can drill down and go to more com uh, comments. You can flag it as inappropriate. You can send an email to the developer and so on and so forth. But at the bottom here, there's a giant install button. So let's install it. And it tells you some more information. For each application, it does this. It says, okay, this application is going to do the following. It's going to access your network. It has network communication. It's going to access your location, so it's going to use GPS stuff. Uh, you can read the phone state with it. System tools are used, and your personal information may be used as well. So it kind of gives you a warning of all the areas that this application is going to uh, affect on the Android platform. And there's different, different ones here. Uh... It can tell you here that it's going to view network state and system tools is going to set wallpaper. So when I tap OK, if I agree to that stuff, what it does is that it says your item will be downloaded. Check the progress and tell it when it's done. And at the top left here, there's a little icon. You can see an arrow. You see it there? It's animating. And that means that it's downloading. If I can drag down my notifications and it tells me that it's already been successfully installed in a notification. So if I tap on that notification, what it does is that it launches the application and boom, I have backgrounds. So that's how easy it is to install an application from the Android Marketplace. Not that different from the uh, iTunes App Store. I mean, it's, it's, it's very easy to browse, very easy to find. 
certain apps by their uh, categories and very easy to install them now uh, like I said I can't purchase anything with this account I have on here but I can demonstrate it through the free functionality I'm gonna go ahead and let's go next this is my first time using this app on here and it looks just like the iPhone app I mean you got four panes with different backgrounds and uh, here's a city landscape I'll pick that one and then once you find the one you want you do set wallpaper it says hold on a sec and new wallpaper has been set let's check it out let's go home boom I got a new wallpaper so that's the wallpapers app and I did it from the Android marketplace alright this is born from one.tv that was a quick demonstration of the Android marketplace the type of apps that are in there how to install how to upgrade and, and how to uninstall if you need to do that this Android platform is formidable it is uh, pretty good and uh, uh, I just want to demonstrate some of the things that I've learned in the time that I've had alright take care